Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of RTHD where I'm going to open up the idea pad Flex 5 which is from the Lenovo that I bought previously and uh, what I want to do is open up the back and so we'll have a look at the inside a little bit but uh, what I want to do this for is really to replace the hard disk drive that was originally on it with a new one terabyte um, NVMe SSD drive so stay tuned. Now the screws on this laptop is actually Torx and you need to have the Torx 5. I already have it in this uh, mobile uh, screwdriver. Now you can use of course the extender for the screwdriver which makes it longer but because of my of the camera and this there's just not enough space so I'm just using a very small uh, the small version of it. All right so all you have to do and I hope that you will be able to see this as you put it in and it's always left so left anti-clockwise to open lefty loosey righty tighty as I always say. This is going to take some time and basically what we want to do is to take out all of these that are around here and that should be able to flip this out. So I'm not going to burden you to show you all the screws being taken out. We just reached that point where we open it up. Okay, so before we continue opening this up, I noticed that the screws here to the front are actually small and these two screws that are here are actually longer all right so keep that in mind as we go along so that you can of course assemble it back afterwards properly okay so i said that these two were long screws also to the back these screws are also long screws so you end up with one two three four five long screws and one two three four uh, uh, smaller screws so just remember that when you have to place it back together Okay, so just another tip and warning um, to get this, even with the screws out, to actually get this to open up, it's really super tight. And um, what I had to use was uh, one of these, these mobile priors. And you get these usually in a kit. And so you could probably purchase that. Um, but it, it's really, really tight. I'm not exaggerating. And so I had to pry out. One side was actually this, the left hand side back. Was actually tighter than the right hand side I was able to use this the fatter one out of the two and pry upwards and I had to pull really hard I want to say really hard still you have to be gentle because you don't want to bend this plastic and it eventually started to make a little bit of a noise and uh, click click by click and it came back out all right so stay tuned as I try to open up this thing completely okay so the more joints that you get open is the easier it is to actually open out and so um, it gets a lot less tight in terms of the clips and there we have it we are in okay so just a quick look at what's on the inside we see that the fan is here this is the AMD 4500U Ryzen it is Ryzen 5 um, and you see the, the heat sink is actually not as big it's, it's quite small the fan already shows dust I only have this for maybe about a, what about a month and uh, half or so and it's already showing dust so it seems that it's pulling I, I don't know if it's pulling in dust but it clearly has some dust which I, I will clean with some air uh, with some canned air or some oh, a vacuum whichever one you can find you see the battery is already inside it's a um, 4455 mAh it lasts eight hours I'm just going through the things that you can actually service here you'd actually see that's, these are the, these seem to be RAM chips that are actually built in, so you can't actually upgrade this system. This system came with 16 gigs of RAM. You can't actually upgrade that. I'm not going to open, of course, the whole area here. I'm just going to show you guys. This seems to be the Wi-Fi module, which I heard you can, of course, upgrade. You can because you can actually pull this thing out and upgrade it if you want. But the Wi-Fi module seems to be working fine. What I am interested in is this section here, which is where the NVMe SSD drive is, and it's the SK Hynix um, 256 gigabyte drive. And I'm going to change this over to a one terabyte drive. And as you can see, there's enough space to go uh, lot the you know the full size NVMe drives. So this, I believe, is I think it's a 2240. I could be wrong about that, so please don't quote me on that. If there's a change to that, I will put it in the video. 
or also um, in the description. But what I have to replace this is an SP one terabyte drive. And that's what we'll do either in this video, probably in another video so that it doesn't think. This was basically the tear down video. And that's all that you should be able to service very easily from this laptop. Other than that, there's not much more you can service on these sort of laptops, but it was very easy to open up once we got the clips out of the way, once we got the back end to come out from these little clips on the edge here. So um, stay tuned for more. Okay, so now I am going to take out the Sky Hynix, SK Hynix, sorry, um, NVMe SSD drive. And to do that, you have to change over from the T5 uh, Torx to a normal Phillips head screwdriver. And basically to the top here, if you can see that, to the top here is a black screw. And that's what we're going to unscrew out. If I could get a small enough screw, this one doesn't seem to want to fit. All right, guys, so believe it or not, the hardest thing to do was actually to get this one screw out to take out the um, stick on to take out the NVMe SSD once you get that screw out though you're good to go so I want to just recommend that if you have one of these mobile um, screwdrivers that you usually uh, get in the mobile kits um, you might want to use like something like a tissue paper to create a grip around this thin so you can get this thin um, the full crumb part so that you could uh, get that proper grip to open that out. It, it was actually, this screw alone was harder than opening the entire piece. So once you get that open, you should be good to go. Stay tuned again as we pull out this NVMe, um, well, sort of half NVMe and put in a full size NVMe one terabyte drive. And this is what it looks like. And whoop to do there's another screw to take out. How much fun is that going to be? I don't even think I'm going to take out that screw anymore. I'm just going to keep it just like that and we'll probably just replace it with the uh, silicon power uh, full stick. As you can see, there's some tape there. That tape was just like that when I got it. I don't know why it's like that, but we we'll put that tape back flat in and we're going to open up the box with this uh, PCIe Gen 3 x 4 uh, silicon power one terabyte five-year warranty drive it actually has um, it's an m.2 pcie gen 3 ssd nvme 3d nan written on it and somehow it has win and nintendo switch on it as well too but i don't know if they still have the program oh this is totally sealed here sealed on the sides how smart how smart that they did that so Get that open. See it very well there. Okay. Putting that back out. Let's pull this thing out. That's literally it. It doesn't even have documentation or anything in it, but that's fine. You probably get that online. So this is a small screw that I got for the NVMe drive. We have the NVMe drive here. I believe this is a 2280 drive, all right, the sizes and so forth. It's really, it's really stuck in. Okay, just comparing it just to see what it looks like. So it's twice the size, obviously. And it seems that it will have to go this way. Nope, it, goes, it goes this way. Okay, so what we do is you just slip it back in like so. Make sure it's firmly in and here the click. This is actually the first time I'm doing this. I'm putting in an NVMe drive and we're going to take that screw back and fit it back in. I'm definitely not going to tighten it as tight as Lenovo did. Maybe they did that, you know, because of shipping, etc. That was like one of the tightest screws. Have ever come across. Oop. Stay tuned. Nice, all done. So now we have our drive in, and now we're going to put things back together 
and then we'll probably run a windows install or windows back i did a backup already so i'm going to try to see if i can do an image restore so with that being said thank you so much for viewing i hope this helped you guys out um stay tuned for more videos from rthg please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys again soon on another episode of rthg coming to your youtube screen now you take care bye bye